Hey, I'm back. Um, I have this tutorial for you guys today. It's really uh, just blues. Uh, I tried out my new uh, aqua DGAC. So excited about it. Um, basically, my own girl texted me and she was like, um, I saw this look in a magazine. Do it. I was like, okay. But this is it. I don't know if you can see it. You definitely can't. I don't know what the purpose of me putting it right there was. I'll definitely put it in the sidebar. Uh, put it in the sidebar, put it in the video for you guys. But it's really quick, really easy. You will need some tape. Um, other than that, let's do it. Okay, guys, I already primed my lid with hard candy concealer. Now I'm going to go in with this midnight blue. We're doing this look today. So it's just a um, midnight blue um, hip cream liner. So put that close to the lash line. You can use any blue base. I do have an e.l.f. cream shadow blue base. This one was just a lot easy, more easily accessible. Is that a word? Ah, pff, whatever. But yeah, so any blue bases will work. Even a white, but... So, put that on the lid. Close it up. These do dry out. And it's pretty tragic because they're $10, so it's really stressful when you let one dry out. <sighs> no personal experience to share, but... Okay, so now I'm going in with my hard candy palette. This is green. It looks white, but it's really like a mint green. And so I'm going to go in with that on my inner corner. Okay. So just place that. Drag, drag, drag. Place that all on the inner corner. Like so. Next, what we're going to do, guys, is go in with Aqua Diziac. I don't know why I like saying it like that, but I love that that's the name of that color. Okay, so we're going to go in with Aqua Diziac. Yeah, okay. I guess it stopped for a little bit, but I'm back now. Okay, go in with Aqua Diziac. Dig that in there. Place it on the inner two-thirds. Of the eye. Okay, so I really just packed that on. Next, I'm gonna take my C and Sky after I clean off my brush and find my C and Sky. Uh oh, haha, -ha. gotcha. Okay, so I'm gonna do this C and Sky. Go in. On the outer corner, really try to blend it together. Ah, uh, just kidding. To do this look, you do need tape. Well, you don't have to have tape, but it helps. So, I'm gonna put that on before I get a little carried away. I always forget to do that, but yeah. So you can go right to the edge of that tape. Keep it on the outer corner. Okay. Once you've got that place in there, I'm going to go in with my, this is dark gray color that I have in my 120 palette and my e.l.f. contour brush. This is the blacks and gray side. I'm going to use the third gray. Well, it's the first gray, but the second up from the top. But, Okay. So go in right on top of the lining of that blue, and you can start feathering it out if you like. So. Okay. Okay, like that. Now once you've kind of got the gray where you want it, Clean off your brush and, of course, just make it even. And go in with the second black. Crease face. And get it right in the crease. It's going to be on top of that C, but we'll fix it. We're going to re-put it. Okay, so you've got that like that. Now, when you're working with blues, it's always like, what's the word? 
you can always overdo it with blues. So you want to be careful with your highlight. Right now I'm going to use suede, which is a really neutral, um, kind of shimmery color. But it's not a white. So you don't want to use like a white highlight when you already have like a bright blue makeup. Then you're going to look like the chick from Drew Carey and she is not hot. But, so I'm going to go right under here. So it's pretty much just adding like a little shimmer, a little sheen to my brow bone. It's not doing too much. Okay. Now what I'm going to use to blend it out is going to surprise y'all because it's not chocolate. I'm going to use caramel from the same hard candy palette. So just go in and blend it out. But you want to make sure whenever you're blending and I'm blending that you're using a color that's closest to your skin tone. So if you're not this skin tone, it might be a different, you know, color. Butterscotch from the Hard Candy Palette might be your highlight. But anyway, of course you're going to go back in and redo any color that you've lost. I kind of lost some of that green on the inner corner, so I'm going to go in really quick and put some more. Just to brighten up the inner corner. Okay. And then I'm going to go back in with the aphrodisiac. Okay. Since you've already like blended them together, you don't have to do too much blending. You're just putting it back for color payoff. And you just want to make sure that you do have all those colors as bright and as beautiful as they could possibly be. <gasps> it's beauty. And you're going to pack that on the outside. Again. Because you're definitely going to have to redo this one because you definitely put that black on top of it. So Now for the painful reveal. Ah, like a band-aid. But see, it gave you that wonderful crease. Now I'm going to take a 219. I need to get more organized if I'm going to be putting this stuff for the whole world to see because I look scatterbrained, don't I? Be honest, be honest. But anyway, so I'm going to take this, drag it. Now, I know in another tutorial when I drag it under the um, lash line, I used white. But this blue is like so potent that you really don't have to. So, you can if you want to. But as long as you put a good primer under here. And I did put some of the Hard Candy Concealer under my eye. There it goes. Now, if you want, you can meet this black or something like that. And if you don't like that harsh crease, uh, it doesn't really bother me, but... You don't like the harsh crease, so you can take a clean 217 or any kind of stiff uh, shading brush, I mean blending brush, and blend out the harsh line. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to line my lids with blue cream liner, midnight blue from HIP, and I will be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back, and here is the finished look. Ooh. I did use um, Avon Glimmer Stick Midnight Blue to line my uh, waterline mascara. You can make the outer corners darker if you want, but I just kind of did that. Mm, definitely forgot to put on this eyebrow. Don't look. Whatever. But, okay. Thanks, guys, for watching. Rate and subscribe.